Hi guys. Uh, today is day five of the flu. Not fun. I woke up Christmas morning at about three in the morning and I was just shivering. I could not get warm. I was just shivering all night long. Had a major fever. I don't own a thermometer, but I know I had a fever because I was so cold. And just every day was one more symptom that I had. So we're on day five. I'm just thinking positive. I'm still so weak and my head feels like it's going to explode, but I wanted to film for you guys before the new year and I this is about all the energy that I can give right now. So I thought I would just say hi um, and do my nails. This was one of the requests that I got from you guys when I did a question on Facebook and Instagram of what videos do you guys want to see? And a few of you had said that you want to see how I do my nails. Um, thank you guys so much for all of your responses. And if you're not following me on Instagram or Facebook, it's Beauty 101 by Lisa. So normally I go to the salon to get a gel polish on my nails. And I will look that up, what the name of the gel polish is that I always get but it's this dark color. It's very similar to this one. And this one that I'm using is the L'Oreal Extraordinaire Gel Lac, Lacquer. And this is in number 719, Glossed and Found. And this is a gel, but it doesn't stay on anywhere near as much as the one at the salon, but when I'm not feeling good, like right now, and I can't get to the salon, this is what I do at home. So it comes with three steps. It comes with the number one primer, the number two, whatever color you want, and step number three, the glaze. So that's what I'm going to do today. Oh, so I wanted to tell you guys one thing that has been saving me because I haven't been able to move. I literally go from bed to the couch and because I've been sitting so much I have this acupuncture mat this is so amazing and it comes with this little neck wool pillow and it has these hard little acupressure pin plastic pin sticky things I don't know what you call them um, pressure point pushers whatever they are and you could put this on your neck. Oh, this feels so good. I don't think everyone would think this feels good, but if you've got like an aching neck, it just feels so relaxing to me. You can feel these little plastic things like poking into your skin. It doesn't pierce the skin at all, but I just love it. So I've been living on this with the mat that I've been sitting on. And you can also like put this on the floor and put your feet on it to get like your a little foot massage. I'll link all the stuff that I'm talking about down below in the description box. I actually just bought one of these for my mom. She doesn't know yet, but it will be delivered Sunday. And she's been having a lot of back pain and I know this is gonna help her. So if you guys are interested in this, check the link below. So I am all set up here with my tea. I've got my Teamy Tea Tumbler. If you guys have seen my other videos, I use this every day. And I even have a discount code for you guys if you're interested in getting one of these. They have so many different um, styles now. I definitely want to get a more updated, really cute one. And this tea that I have in here is, oh, my head's pounding. It's um, lemon ginger with organic honey. So the first thing I do when I'm doing my nails is I really like to have them cut super short. Um, my daughter got me hooked on that years ago. I saw um, she trimmed her nails super short and put like a bright red polish on it and I just thought it looked so cute. 
and ever since then I stopped getting um, fake nails and I just love them looking shorter. I feel like it looks like cuter and more youthful, just my opinion, for my own hands. And so that's what I do. So I cut them super short and then I use this um, buffer and I just buff my nails. I don't know why my nails got stained the last time I did my nails. I wonder if I forgot to use like the number one primer, I'm not sure. But I just do like a quick buff on my nails to make sure everything's all smoothed out. And then I use my cuticle trimmers. I'm not good at doing that at all. Uh, I usually cut myself, so if you guys are going to try it, be careful, but I definitely do my best to just trim any of the little cuticles that are sticking out and try not to go too crazy. I leave that to the professionals at the salon because, like I said, I'm not good at this at all. <laughs> that's good enough for now then I start out by using the number one primer and it's just a clear and it dries super fast. Oh, actually I'm going to, since I just buffed my nails, I'm gonna go over them really quick with some nail polish remover, just to make sure that I got any of the dust or particles off my nails. And then I kind of push my cuticles back just like with my thumb, thumbnail just a little bit my hands are not working I'm <laughs> so weak you guys this is crazy Ugh, if any of you guys got the flu this year comment down below and let me know how long it took for it to go away like I said this is day five and I am just I'm going to be sleeping for the day after I film this video. Okay. They're all clean, ready to go. I'm going to start with the number one. This is definitely going to make me feel better having my nails done. For some reason, it always does. If you guys get your nails done, you know what I mean. So I hope all you guys had an amazing Christmas holiday. I had such a great time with my family and oh my God, you guys, you know what I found out? My middle son, Travis, and his wifey are having a baby. So grandbaby number three is on their way. That was seriously the best Christmas present I could have got. I'm like, keep them coming guys. I love my grandbabies. So I did film a little bit on Christmas Eve, but I'm not sure I'm gonna have the energy to get that edited in time. So I'll, I'm, I'll definitely do it like for my family. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post it publicly, but maybe I will, it'll just be late. Next, I'm going to use the color Glossed and Found. And I always do two coats of this one. I 
I can usually get um, a week out of this where when you go to the salon, you can get three weeks out of it. But it is much more expensive to go to the salon. So this is definitely a good gel alternative to going to the salon. But nothing really matches the quality of the gel polish at the salon. And I usually get like these little designs done, which I totally cannot do myself. Then I just use my emery board to get rid of any nail polish that I'm getting on my skin. I'm so glad that no one in my family ended up getting sick. Today is day five since I saw them on Christmas Eve and the incubation period for the flu has already expired. So if anyone was gonna get sick, they would have already gotten sick and no one got sick, thank God, that I would have felt horrible. So, it was just me, lucky old me. <laughs> All right, that is the first coat. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other hand. Then I'm going to do a second coat. And the nice thing about this polish is it dries so fast. I would say when you're done, I would give it 15 minutes and it's completely dry. Like it never fails when I do my nails at home. I will end up messing them up every time but with this gel polish, because it dries so quick, I have so much better luck with this. And last, I'm going to do the step three glaze which is just the top coat. And what I usually end up doing is like two or three days later, I'll put another coat of the top coat and the polish will last a lot longer. Just redoing the top coat. And that's it. They are basically almost dry. Just give it a few more minutes. They're nice and shiny. So I hope all of you guys are healthy right now. If any of you are feeling crappy like me, I hope you feel better really soon. And I will not probably be posting until next year. So if you guys have any ideas of videos that you want to see, please let me know. Just leave your ideas down in the comments below. I would love to be posting what you guys want to see. I'm going to go edit this video now, or actually I'm probably going to take a nap first and then I will edit it. Get it up for you today. I just wanted to make sure that I was able to say hi. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the past year of all of your support. I love you guys so much. Have a healthy and happy new year and I will be back to posting as soon as I feel better. Bye guys.